Medical inflation has outstripped general inflation by probably 50% over the last uh, uh, 10 years. Cost of health care is the second leading cause of personal bankruptcy. Average family premiums now exceed the gross annual income of a full-time minimum wage worker. Uh, it's the, probably the single leading barrier to uh, economic growth. Uh, but I think the most chilling is the implications of the growing cost of health care on the fiscal solvency of this country. And while Congress is worried about Social Security, that's about a $5 trillion problem. You know, Medicare increases uh, with medical inflation. And when my generation fully reaches the age of 65, it starts in earnest just five years from now, in 2011, the unfunded entitlement in the Medicare program exceeds $65 trillion. And we're financing that by selling securities to Japan, China, and other countries that are still willing to purchase them. My sense of urgency here uh, has nothing to do with health care as much as the fact that the window in which we can act and shape our own future is very narrow and narrowing rapidly. And we don't have time to wait for Congress to somehow fix this for us. We need to figure out a way to jumpstart this debate, and we need to do it now. We have the world's most expensive health care system. This year we'll spend more than $7,000 for every man, woman, and child in the U.S. Just under 60 percent of all health dollars in the United States pass through the hands of the government. And in that 60 percent, I would include something called the tax subsidy to private health insurance. That is the money lost to the federal treasury because health benefits are not taxable to the employee's income. Our government is already paying an amount equivalent to the total spending per capita in other nations. And then we go and take another uh, $2,500 out of our pocket privately. It's ironic because despite spending twice as much as people in other countries, we have uh, 46 million uninsured Americans. We have tens of millions more Americans who have only partial coverage. That is, they go out and they buy health insurance in good faith, thinking it'll cover them when they get sick. And then they get sick and find out that they're Health insurance is full of gaps like co-payments and deductibles and uncovered services so that even though they have health insurance, they still face financial bankruptcy in the event of a serious illness. Uh, we're getting very, very poor value for money for what we spend on health care.